Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda if you're new here and today we are having a little mommy time out. We're going shopping. Time for some retail therapy. It's uh, December still, Christmas is over, but we are still in the holiday mood. And since we've had COVID all week, I have not really been able to go anywhere, do anything. It's day 10 for me now, so I am going out. I invited Maggie, but she said, stay home with daddy multiple times. So I gave her the option to come, but it's probably for the best that her and Paul stay home and rest a little bit more because they are a couple days behind me sickness wise. So I'm excited because we are gonna go into Target and do a full tour of the store, child free. So I get to just look at everything. I have a list on my phone of things that we need for the house and then some wants as well. And I'm so grateful to my family who sent to us gift cards and cash for Christmas. Thank you so much. So we are gonna have a little spending spree and just looking forward to getting out. And the sun is out. Oh my goodness. This is why we moved out of Ohio, guys, <laughs> for the sun. I lived in Ohio for 25 years and the seasonal depression is real. The gray, the feeling of just ugh, taking over you is real. So having no sun for the past several days and having it be extremely cold really brought back those feelings for me. So I'm so grateful to have the sun shining again today. I'm really hoping that they have some Valentine's Day stuff out. So I'm just gonna take you around the whole store. We're gonna see what we can find, see if there's any clearance Christmas stuff left. So yeah, should be a fun time shopping. So let's go inside and see what they have. Okay, so right away when I walked in, I was very disappointed because they were just now consolidating their dollar spot and I can tell that they had just received some shipments and they're probably gonna start putting all of their Valentine's Day things out. They did have some organizational bins or these little containers, but as you can see, everything was completely gone. I quickly made my way to the Christmas clearance and they had just piles and piles of pajamas, some different plates, a few ornaments, a little bit of Christmas decor. I really liked this little make your own cookie set for Santa. And then they had all of the wooden trees and the glass trees. There was also some pillows and some tree skirts and other linens and things spread out throughout the store that I was able to find as well. Now they did have some Valentine's Day things out and I even thought you could use this little garland for Valentine's Day, but they had just started unboxing all of their Valentine's Day decor and I love this little bird. It looked kind of vintage to me. They had some ceramic houses, a lot of plushies like these peanut butter and jelly ones and like avocado and different characters that went together. I really like this little truck with the flower delivery and they had started putting out their children's books as well. This duck pool toy must have been brand new because there is no price tag yet, but I just thought it was so cute for a gift for a small child. I also visited the women's clothing section, but there was really nothing that caught my eye. I'm just in a clothing rut right now. <laughs> then I made my way over to the toiletries so I could look for stuff for my hair. I really have no idea what I was doing here. I was just looking at brands that I was familiar with. I'm on the hunt for some mousse, some curl cream, some brushes, some combs, just anything I can do to help enhance my natural curls in the new year. I also tried on a few hats because I've been interested in getting a beret ever since my hair has been long enough to kind of make it look cute with a hat. So I'm just trying on some different hats. I didn't end up getting any, but I actually kind of like these a lot. So I might be on the hunt for a hat in the near future if I see any that go on sale. Alrighty. I forgot how exhausting wearing a mask is. Ooh, so I didn't really get anything fun at Target. I just spent $70 on things that we need. Well, I guess I got some stuff for my curly hair journey, <laughs> which by the way, these curls are looking pretty good already. Waves, curls, whatever. So I'll show you everything I got when I got home. $70 worth of kind of essential things. So now I think I'm gonna go to Home Goods. Do I dare brave it? 
It was very chill at Target at first and then it got really busy, especially around the clearance items. <laughs> so I'm kind of nervous to go to Home Goods, but at the same time, it's nice to go without Maggie because you can just navigate a lot easier. So I think I might go there and look for, I don't know, whatever catches my eye. Maybe just do a little window shopping and then head home to see the sick babes. <laughs> I texted Paul that I was going to Home Goods, and he responded with Godspeed. <laughs> I think he might be right. It just pulled up and it looks pretty crazy over here. So, Let's see if we can uh, avoid the crowded bad vibes, if you know what I mean. How it can be a little intense and no fun to shop when people are all intense and scary. But I'm mostly looking for hair accessories, headbands. Some of my headbands have broke recently, and I just need a variety. Some scrunchies, maybe. I don't know. Some clothes, maybe? I don't know. I'm looking for a scarf. I got rid of all my winter scarves for some reason. I have nothing. I have no winter accessories. <laughs> and I know I don't need them very much, but for those couple weeks of the year, it'd be nice to have. So like any mom out there, my first stop was to look at clothes for Maggie. They had some really cute dresses, some really great stuff for spring, and they had a lot of little Valentine's themed outfits out as well, which I thought was really fun. I did not end up buying her anything because she's pretty well set right now, but I was keeping my eye out for the next size up and for the spring. Home Goods barely had any Christmas stuff left over. In fact, they were pretty well stocked on Valentine's Day decor. They had a ton of things. And how cute are these Valentine's radios? You've probably seen the Christmas themed ones, but they actually had Valentine's Day themed ones. They also had all of these really cute to-go cups for coffee. Like if you're having a, a party or like having some of your mom friends over and you can send them home with some hot coffee. This card I thought was really neat. It's made out of paper. They had some different paper plates and things for parties and things like that. And then another one of these peanut butter and jelly plushies. I can sense that that's going to be a theme this year. It's Valentine's Day gingerbread houses really caught my eye. They were humongous though, but I've just never seen anything like it. I thought it was so cute how they have all of this kind of Christmassy but Valentine's Day themed decor, including this vintage tree. You guys know I love these vintage trees. They had a pink one and a white one for Valentine's Day and I just thought it was so cool. But here's my hand for scale for these giant gingerbread houses. They also had a lot of really cute baking ware, different measuring cups, baking utensils, cookie cutters, ravioli cutters, all kinds of different things to really spruce up your kitchen for the holiday. Lastly, I had to check out their mug section. They had a lot of really, really cute Valentine's Day themed mugs. I don't need any mugs right now though, although maybe I will pick up one Valentine's themed mug to have out on my coffee station. They had a lot of really good options, so I might have to go back and grab one. Okay, it's the next day. I'm gonna quickly do my little Target haul. And I was thinking about this yesterday and you know how I was like, oh, I spent $70 on household products. You know, I couldn't find anything for myself. That is a blessing. The fact that I don't need anything and I'm wanting for nothing, I am so blessed. So let me just put that out there. Like the fact that I can just go to Target and have a nice time exploring and shopping by myself and then get everything that we need and more like that is just a blessing so just want to put that out there I've been reflecting on that a lot and just how we have such an overabundance of things and we are always taken care of we always have everything we need and more so I'm just very feeling very grateful for that right now let me show you what I did get if you care <laughs> about my household products I'm excited about the uh, curly hair things so let me just quickly show you everything I got starting with my new mop. I was gonna get one of these spin mops, like I said, that I saw another YouTuber have. Um, she seems to really like hers, but I just went with a, like a ring out mop and a new bucket. And let's see. I was really confused on floor cleaner because I've never used floor cleaner because we have a Swiffer wet jet, but I needed to get an actual mop because I need to do these floors, like deep clean these floors. 
we've never deep cleaned the floors in over two years of living here three years i don't know how long we've lived here but it's time to just like roll up the carpets and mop the whole house so i got some floor cleaner fabuloso i don't know we're just gonna try that i got another spatula because mine broke i got coffee filters a necessity in this household cotton balls <laughs> Toothbrushes! One for me, one for Paul. Let's see. Blue for Paul, pink for me. We're not fancy. I got myself some more shampoo. Oh wait. Okay, good. I saw coconut. I thought it said conditioner. It's just shampoo. That's what I needed. I've always jumped around on shampoos. This is like a little bit expensive, like $7 or something, which to me is expensive because I grew up using Suave. And it seems to work. This is for thick, curly hair. It always has a good lather, which I appreciate. And then in the Christmas section, they had all the little wooden trees for 50 cents. At first they were scanning at $5, like on the self scanner, even though they were originally $1. So I was like, that can't be right. So I grabbed six, even if they were a dollar, I was still gonna buy them. Maggie really likes them so far. So I got four wooden ones and two of these beautiful glass ones. I think they're so pretty. They were only 50 cents. These will be nice just to sprinkle around the house next Christmas. Or even in the winter, I can just keep them out for winter. All right, and then for my hair, I got this Cantu brush. I think Flo uses Cantu, or maybe Sarah, or both. I know I saw it in a vlog recently of one of you guys. Um, so I saw this brand and I was like, okay, I'll try that. They had a lot of hair care products as well, but I was so overwhelmed <laughs> by the options for hair. And I didn't do any research in advance. So I know this will work for my hair and it kind of has like those pokey bristles, which I kind of want for my scalp. I think that'll feel good. I've been using a wet brush, but I'm gonna try this as well. I think this will be good for my hair. And then this is for kids, but the wide tooth comb for combing out your curls after you put your product in. And I like that it has a little pick at the bottom so I can like do my part and stuff. And then Maggie can use this too if she ever gets a lot of hair, which she doesn't have a lot of hair right now. And then I also got, oh, where's my mousse? I hope I put the mousse in the in the container. <gasps> well, I bought mousse too, and I don't see it. Oh no. Well, anyway, I got this Herbal Essence Curl Defining Cream because I'm gonna be following the Sophie Marie Curly Instagram, and she does a curl cream, and then she brushes it out, blah, 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 does all this stuff, and then she scrunches it, and then she uses a diffuser. So I got some curl cream. <laughs> We're gonna try it. And then I got a new mop bucket. And somewhere I got moose. Don't know where it is. I hope I brought it home with me because I really needed that one. But yeah, that's the end of my haul. Like I said, nothing crazy, but we don't need anything. I'm gonna be very, try to be very, even more conscientious about what I bring into my house this year. Just because something's cheap, as I bought six of these little things, just because something's cheap doesn't mean I need to bring it home. If it's just gonna create clutter and chaos and end up being thrown away or donated. So gonna be very conscious about just like, single use items, paper, I don't know. I just want things to be sustainable, long lasting, and be more conscious about what I bring into the home. And just cause something's cheap doesn't mean that it's the best or that we need it. So that's just something I'm thinking about. But anyway, thank you guys for coming shopping with me. I'll probably see you this weekend for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day festivities. I'm looking forward to it. I'm thinking and planning and just excited for a clean slate. 2023 is in a couple days and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble on. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.